Today on this unboxing and review adventurous ones, I am out to prove to all of you that I still collect Transformers. I just don't collect the bigger ones. <laughs> it's time to get unboxing the core class version of Ironhide. Let's get started with this toy review. another unboxing review my adventurous ones I am your host as always the master of all them multiverses and I don't care what Robert Downey Jr's Dr. Doom says about it all I'm the one that destroyed the MCU not him <laughs> Joseph Michaels the adventurous Joe at your service now we got to get started with our unboxing of Transformers studio series Ironhide from Transformers the movie now, this is a core class figure. That means it is smaller in size, but still can do, you know, a nice transformation into its vehicle mode and stuff. Now, this was all a part of the reason why it's open window like this, where you can touch the figure, see, touch, 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 was Hasbro's bad decision making back when they decided to go plastic free with everything. I watched a couple of these hang on the pegs at my Walmart and get stolen right out of the box. Somebody just clipped it like that, took it right out of the box. Never even opened it. They did it with the Bumblebee version of Ravage. They did it with Shockwave. Unreal stuff. It was just unreal. Now, I'm going to get this started here. First off, our instruction manual on how to transform him. He's got ties up the ting a ding a -nya -nya. So we got to get this, undo this one, like so. And undo this one, like so. He's like the prime, I'm, t I'm stuck with all this energon wrapping around me. Yeah, I went there. Don't ask. And last but not least, we got to get these undone. So we're going to have to cut these from the back side because I can't cut them from the front side. There's one of his guns free. Focus. There's one of his guns. Now, let's see if I can loosen it up. His other gun. And also, like all of the Transformers animated movie ones that came out and stuff, a nice backdrop scene from the movie. Actually, where Ironhide gets blasted to bits with a ratchet and prowl and brawn. Now, as you can see, there ain't nothing else on the back. The simplicities of that. So, goodbye to that. We're done with these little ties. So we're going to get rid of all of them. Whee! And we're going to get Iron Eye looked at here. Boy, he is neat looking for a little guy. Days are numbered now, Dissector Creeps. Mm. 
Gen 1 has been my Transformers. It will always be my Transformers. I loved Gen 1 since I've been a, since I was a kid and I enjoy the Gen 1 characters and stuff. So the reason why I don't collect bigger Transformers anymore is for one, space. I got to have the room to put put things and stuff. Lately I've been unboxing a lot of things as you've seen in some of my reviews and stuff like that. Things that I would have normally just kept in the box. I'm just opening them up to get rid of stuff that's taking up space. Okay? Because the figures, once I'm done with the figures and their review of them and stuff like that and they're unboxed, I got my cupboards to put them in. Easier to put them away and stuff like that. And as for my retro carded figures for Spider-Man and X-Men and stuff like that, those are getting hung up on the wall. So, simple as that. The Ironhide's got some his maneuverability to him. And it can go up about that far in the elbow. Down again. Arm can turn the whole 360. Moves back and forth. Because it's on a ball joint like butterfly joint here. Head doesn't do a lot of turning, but it can turn the whole 360. And so on. Now we can get him into position again, like so. And once he's in his vehicle mode, he can have his blasters attached to the sides of his vehicle mode, just like Ratchet can have his. Which I did not, I didn't get Ratchet because I couldn't find Ratchet. My Walmart finally put all the older Transformer stuff on clearance, and this guy was only five bucks. Five bucks. Originally, these figures, these little core class ones, costed anywhere between. $15 and uh, I believe it was $10, $10 to $15, depending on what they were and stuff, because this guy originally was $14.99. Now, he, since they've cleaned out a lot of the older stuff at my store, finally, we had a lot of the older Transformers go up for clearance and stuff. So... I managed to snag him. And there's Ironhide. Hang on a second, let's get him standing up proper. Now if you want to see a transformation of this guy and stuff like that, I believe there is a video out there from Robo at the Foosh or uh, some, um, one of the Transformer create, uh, content creators that do the transformations and stuff like that. I'm not going to go through the whole process of trying to transform him, otherwise we'll be here all day. But here he is, with his stuff. And the back of the box basically shows you what he looks like transformed in his vehicle mode. Okay. Now one big complaint I've already heard about, um, not the core class Bumblebee, but the Studio Series bigger version of Bumblebee is the windows are all wrong, which if you look at Core Class Bumblebee right here, yes, the windows are a blue color, blue like tintish color. Okay. Now let's do some comparisons here. First, I'm going to put Iron Eyes' arms down so he can stand like he is, holding his guns in his hands. Put them together like that. And comparison time. Here he is with the leader of the Autobots and his best friend, Optimus Prime. Let's see how that stands just like that. Hey, look at that. Cool backdrop. There you go. Listen to me, Ironhide. We don't have enough Energon cubes to power a full-scale assault. Ready the shuttle for launch. Your days are numbered now, Decepta creeps. You're welcome. <laughs> now, here he is with Bumblebee. Let's move Prime out of the way. 
and put Bumblebee next to him. Now, this is a little bit of a size difference here and stuff. Bumblebee should be a bit shorter to him, but since it's a core class based figure and stuff like that, they kind of underestimated the size comparison, basically. Just like here's Spike next to the two of them in his exosuit that came with this Bumblebee figure, which was a Target exclusive, by the way. And these two, you know, here's human size to it and the Autobot Ironhide and stuff and to Bumblebee. But Bumblebee should be a little bit on the shorter side to compare to Ironhide. And we'll put those two back that way. Put Optimus back there. And now here he is with his murderer, Megatron. Okay, now we gotta move Optimus out of the way again because he's kind of blocking the view. There. Now, as you can see, Megatron is taller to Ironhide. No! Such heroic nonsense. <laughs> Blasted. Oh, Lord. My childhood revisited the nightmares. Okay, down there, boy. <laughs> Anyways, there he is next to Megatron. Megatron is on the bit tall side to him and stuff. Here he is with Soundwave. And once again, why are the Decepticons a little taller than the Autobot? What is going on with this? There he is with Soundwave. Now here he is with Starscream. Again, Starscream is a bit taller than Ironhide. What? Come on, Hasbro, what did you do wrong here? And now, one last comparison. And once again, Skywarp is taller than Ironhide. What is going on with these blasted figures? Seriously. The Jets are taller than Ironhide, for God's sake? Uh, I guess it it goes by the scaling or some stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so let's move this back to you. And let's move you to there. So, at the end of the day, this is this is one of those things that was worth waiting for to go on clearance because it's not very there's not much to it and stuff once you get him transformed into his van mode and stuff like that there you know and the guns attached to the side there's really nothing else to him and stuff the it's a core class figure it's basic it's something that you ain't got to worry about uh breaking too much and stuff like that because it's you know kind of cheap on the plastic if you will Okay, so it, core class is basically designed for those like uh, children, okay, that are meant more for children to play with and stuff. The, but the core class is also meant for those that don't want to buy bigger transformers and put out the hundred dollars or fifty dollars or whatever to buy these guys and stuff. Okay, now normally a lot of these guys cost around anywhere between the bigger versions anyway cost around $30 or so, okay? And to have a smaller scale version like this, core class version, okay, it's basically saying, you know, it's worth the money to, but it's not worth the price it was originally pro programmed for. Like, he was originally $17.99. I actually had to look that up. He was originally $17.99 kind of ridiculous for a core class figure but and that's a huge but that is worth waiting on okay because eventually if they don't sell in stores and stuff like that they are gonna go on clearance pricing and stuff so don't just jump on a bandwagon to get them and stuff and 95% of the time, a lot of these things end up at places like Ross now or Ollie's. I haven't seen any Transformers Core Class at Ollie's and stuff yet, but I have seen them 
seen people finding them at Ross and stuff like that. So, never know. Anyways, let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below, Adventurous Ones. Worth it? Not worth it? Waiting, or was it more along the lines of worth it, but waiting on getting it for the lower pricing? So your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell notification and set it to all because this is, we have managed to go to 600 subscribers. Woo! Yeah, thanks, big shout out to Jen, Mama J. Okay, she started putting our channel out there as part of her own giveaway and stuff like that for people to come over on my, on my videos, support my channel, and so on and so forth. And along with other people's channels and stuff that are a part of the giveaway thing. And now I gotta put the get I'm waiting to see how long that 600 stays at 600. Because if it stays at 600 till October, we've got it we've got plans to start for a giveaway. So and that's it, my adventurous ones. Until the next unboxing, till the next review. Peace out. May the force be with all of you. And every last one of y'all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, your loved ones in general. God bless to all of you out there. Be smart. Use this. And stay safe out there. Till the next time, my adventurous ones. I will see you all later.